Here we have an Asus ROG Strix 3080 video card that came in for repair. And the card looks something like this. That's one big card. And three 12 volt inputs. One, two, and three. Now, honestly, I did not want to record the video on this card because I'm still not able to figure it out. But then I discovered something and I thought, let me hit the record button. Maybe we can figure it out together. And let me show you what's going on. The first thing I did was visual inspection. I inspected every part of the board for broken components, lost components, knocked off components, discolored blown components or capacitors, missing data lines, cracked board, and I did not find anything. The board looks absolutely mint, not even dust on it. Then I proceeded to measure the 12 volt lines. We have 12 volts here, 12 volts here, and 12 volts here. Before we start the video, I want to give a shout out to our sponsor, PCBWay. PCBWay is a China Shenzhen based PCB manufacturer and printed circuit board assembler with more than a decade in the field of PCB prototype and fabrication. They offer a wide variety of services, including 3D printing, CNC machining, sheet metal fabrication, and much more. PCBWay is committed to meeting all your PCB needs. They offer quality on time delivery and competitive pricing. One to two layer boards starts at $5 with 24 hours turned around. Get an instant quote by visiting PCBWay.com or click on the link below and make sure to check them out. We can measure for a short circuit right here, right here, and right here. And I've done countless number of videos going over short circuits on the 12 volt line. So I discovered that we do have a short circuit on one of the 12 volt lines. Let me show you, meter in diode mode. And if we measure here, one of the 12 volt lines, we are reading 0 0.43 voltage drop. That's not a short circuit. If we measure here, 0 0.43 voltage drop. That's not a short circuit. And if we measure here, we have a short circuit. Great. So now we know what the problem is. We have a short circuit on one of the 12 volt lines. Awesome. So how do we figure out what's causing the short circuit? I've discussed this so many times. For all of you following the channel since a long time ago, what we do is inject voltage right here. And we monitor the DR MOSFETs that you see right here. It has to be one of them. 99% of the times, it's one of those DR MOSFETs causing a short circuit on one of the 12 volt lines. So how many DR MOSFETs do we have in total, including the memory one? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 13 DR MOSFETs. I'm not gonna go over every single one of them and remove every single one of them to figure out where the short is coming from. Especially that we have those aluminum capacitors that can pop when we apply heat. And that board takes a lot of heat. It takes a tremendous amount of heat to desolder each MOSFET. So that's not practical. What I did was inject voltage right here. And I was looking for a heat spot on any one of those DR MOSFETs, but I was not able to find not the slightest heat spot anywhere on the board. I bumped up voltage, no heat spot. I bumped up voltage even more, no heat spots. Oh man, why does this happen all the time? The microphone batteries went dead and I just realized that we do not have audio on a big portion of the video. Usually what I do is I inject voltage at the shorted component, which is this one here, the shorted voltage rail. And then I monitor those DR MOSFETs under a thermal camera. I've done a lot of videos on a shorted 12 volt line. And usually we see a very slight heat spot on any one of those DR MOSFETs, any one of them. Now I looked closely at the thermal camera and I was not able to find not the tiniest heat spot anywhere on those DR MOSFETs. I bumped up the voltage, I injected more voltage, but still no heat spots anywhere on here. I checked the left side, DR MOSFETs. I cannot point to the MOSFETs while I'm looking at the camera right here. And I was also not able to find any heat spots on any one of those DR MOSFETs. I thought to myself, we are not able to find any heat spots on any one of those DR MOSFETs. What should we do? And look at this, I'm pointing with my tweezer to that blob 
on this DR MOSFET. You see it? The blob right here. That's unusual. A blob on a DR MOSFET like this is a very good indication that this component got hot to a point where solder liquefied and pushed a blob like you see here. If you look at the rest of the DR MOSFETs, you will not find that blob on any one of them, not from any site. So this one in specific had that blob. And that was the reason why I pushed on that record button is because I wanted to share this information with you. I was not able to find a heat spot on any one of those components, so I just focused on visual inspection and I found this. Now I already removed the component. And now if you look here, the component is out. I had to cover the capacitors because those caps can blow. They can pop if you expose them to a lot of heat. And after removing the component, the suspected component, now we check here and <laughs> look at this. 0 0.43 voltage drop. The short is gone. Wow. We figured this out by just doing visual inspection. A blob is a very good indication that that component is at fault if you have a short circuit on any one of those 12 volt lines. And it's almost always the DR MOSFETs on the right side and not on the left side. Left side, I've noticed, working on a lot of video cards, we have issues with those DR MOSFETs if we have a short circuit on the 12 volt line down here. But we do not. So almost always it's that side that shorts out. The DR MOSFET is 95481RWJ. I do not know if we have it or if we can pull it off another video card. I'm going to have to look. I do not know if this one compares to any one of the DR MOSFETs that we use on many video cards. I have a lot of different types, but I'm going to have to look at the data sheet. But as of now, I do not have a replacement. If I do find one, I'll continue the video. Otherwise, it's going to be part two. This is going to be a video, and that's why I took the time to re-record so I can tell you what was going on because there's something to learn from this video. If removing that chip did not release the short, then I would not have posted the video because there's nothing to learn from the video. Okay, so you found the solder blob, removed the chip, and it did not solve the problem. What's the point? I would not have posted that video. For now, we're going to end the video right here. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think. Leave it down in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll do something else in the next video. Or maybe I'll see you with the continuation in this very specific video. Look at this. I did find that we have the chip in stock. If you look here, the 9548RWJ, but <laughs> the envelope is empty, not, not a single one. Yeah, so we're going to have to order the chip, and I'll probably do a part two, or maybe not. Thank you.